So it turns out that Western civilizations, such as our own, have established a series of tones that relate to pitch. And of course, if you've ever learned any music, uh, this will probably start to sound familiar. So the different tones in music are assigned, are assigned different letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And of course, these represent the different tones in a musical scale. So there are notes in between these that are assigned names like F sharp or B flat. So if we have C and D, wait, that went quite good. We have C and D, then in between C and D, we'll have C sharp or D flat. So we can see that this system lets us describe many different frequencies of note, but without using numbers. So what happens when we get past G? Well, we can see over here that we'll go back to the same note. So because all the different notes have different frequencies, we can write them down. If we have a starting note, say middle C, which is around la, and that will have a frequency of around 262 hertz. And as we can see, as we get higher up, and we move up the scale, la, 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 and so on, we'll get to higher and higher frequencies. One interesting thing to notice here is that the distance between two notes over here is a larger number of hertz than the distance between two notes over here. And it turns out that this is because of how a musical scale is defined, but we'll get onto that a little bit later. It's also interesting to notice that even accounting for that, not all of these notes on the scale are the same distance apart. In particular, E and F are closer together than you'd expect them to be, and B and C are closer together than you would expect them to be. If you look at these notes on a piano keyboard, then you'll notice that B and C and E and F don't have any black notes in between them. So this means that rather than being a whole tone apart, they're only half a tone apart, or a semitone. But that's more musical theory, so we won't go too much into it. The A below middle C has a frequency of 220 hertz. What is this musical note's period? Now, if we have a wave of any sort, sound wave or not, we can find its period if we know its frequency, right? So what's the formula again? That's right, the period equals one divided by the frequency. So that will tell us pretty easily that the period of this musical note, the A below middle C, is going to be one on F or 4.5 milliseconds.